This video will cover the laser counter replacement process for a PA2SD. First, we need to remove the components from the housing. To do so, unscrew the screw on the back of the device. Once removed, place both thumbs on the inside of the gray ring and pull it out. Remove the small bracket from the inside and unplug the mini USB cable from the board. From the underside, begin pushing the laser counters out of the gray ring. While working with the components, be sure not to put any pressure on the SD card logger. You can remove the SD card to ensure it is not damaged during the process. Rotate the device so the BME 280 is visible and unstick the yellow tape. The short power adapter can be removed by pulling it from the adhesive it is stuck to. To remove the BME 280, grip the top and the bottom and pull it straight out of its slot. The plastic piece that holds the SD logger in place will need to be removed. You will want to use a thin tool to get underneath it, like a ruler. Remove the tape that covers the ribbon cables that plug into the laser counters. Next, we will remove the ribbon cables. When removing them, hold onto all of the wires and grip the cable as close to the laser counters as possible. Then, pull straight out. We can place the old laser counters aside. The piece of tape that connected the board to the laser counters can be removed or cut. We will now connect the new laser counters to the board. Place the laser counters down with the ribbon cable inputs facing upwards. Ensure the ports are on the right hand side. Hold the board so that the small Yeti image faces you and the ribbon cables hang from the left hand side. The leftmost ribbon cable plugs into channel A which will be the laser counter closest to you. The other ribbon cable will plug into channel B, which will be the laser counter farthest from you. We can now plug in the ribbon cables. When doing so, ensure that the pins face you and match up with the pins in the laser counter slots. The channel A ribbon cable can be plugged straight into the first laser counter. For the channel B ribbon cable, hold it towards you and twist it in a half circle to the right before plugging it in. This will help the cables fold up nicely inside the device. Hold the two ribbon cables next to each other and tuck them into the space in between the two laser counters. Ensure the ribbon cables are fully connected by pressing on the white ends with a thin, flat object. Now that the laser counters are connected to the board, we can return the rest of the components to their original positions. Cut a piece of the provided yellow tape to cover the ribbon cable inputs on the laser counters. This piece should be around 1.7 inches in length. Place this piece of tape over the top side of the laser counters, ensuring to cover the ribbon cable ports. Secure the tape by pressing down on any loose sections. Rotate the laser counters to view the slot that holds the BME 280. Adjust the board so that the BME 280 hangs down from the left. The red wire that connects to it will be the farthest left cable. The side with the foam will be facing down. Slide the BME 280 into its slot. Now we will tape the board to the laser counters. 
Fold the ribbon cables flat onto the top of the laser counters. Then make another fold to place the board on top as well. You will need another piece of tape roughly the same size as the other piece we used. Place the piece of tape over the board and onto the side of the laser counter with the BME-280. Be sure not to cover the bottom end of the BME-280. We will now stick the plastic piece holding the SD logger to the laser counters. Rotate the laser counters to view the side that has a piece of double-sided tape. The cover on the tape will need to be removed. This can be made easier by pressing on the end of the tape to fold it over the side with the barcodes. This will make part of the cover more accessible to grab. Now line up the plastic piece with the edge of the laser counter and firmly press it into place, still being careful not to apply pressure on the SD logger. The last component to be added is the adapter cable. On the opposite side of the laser counters, peel off the adhesive cover. Once it is removed, place the cable into the slot. The block with the micro USB port will face downward. Firmly press on the cable to secure it in place. The SD card can now be returned to its slot. Avoid holding the card on its pins. Now that all the components are attached, we can place them in the gray ring. Place the ring flat with the hole for the screw facing to the left. Angle the components so the side with the adapter cable enters first. Rotate the device and press on the opposite side to slide it into the ring as well. Plug the loose end of the adapter cable into the board. Adjust the tape so it is not in the way of the port. Rest the bracket on the laser counters on the side that has the barcodes. The hole on the bracket will line up with the hole on the ring. Hold the bracket and the ring with one hand and the housing with the other. Slide the ring into the housing matching up the holes for the screw. Continue holding onto the bracket as it can fall into the housing if the device is tipped over. Return the screw to the hole and screw it in to secure everything in place. The laser counters in your sensor have now been replaced, and the sensor is ready to be used.